In an interesting turn of events, recent polls reveal former President Trump leading President Biden in five critical swing states. This could change everything for the 2024 election. We'll break down the key factors swaying voters, what it means for both candidates. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some explosive news about the 2024 election that's sure to shake things up. According to a new series of polls, former President Trump leads Biden in five critical swing states that Biden won in 2020. That's right, the same states that helped Biden steal, I mean secure his victory last time around, are now favoring Trump. This is huge, people. These polls were conducted by none other than the New York Times, Siena College, and the Philadelphia Inquirer. Three left-wing havens. They show Trump outperforming Biden among voters in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania. Can you believe it? Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, Biden only leads in one battleground state, Wisconsin. Now, isn't that interesting? Now, four years ago, Biden, for lack of a better word, won all six of these battleground states. For him to win re-election in 2024, he needs to hold on to Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, assuming he doesn't lose any other states he won in 2020. The stakes couldn't be higher this time around, folks. The poll results highlight key issues driving voter dissatisfaction, and we already know them. The cost of living, the economy, the Israel-Hamas conflict, Jill Biden wearing shower curtain dresses, and illegal immigration are at the top of the list. Nearly 70% of Americans believe the country's political and economic structures need a major overhaul. Only 13% think Biden can deliver that change in a second term. That's a staggering number, guys. And that 13% are probably the radical woke Marxists who spread their propaganda. And get this, almost 40% of Trump supporters say the economy or cost of living is the most important issue in the election. Many are skeptical of the Biden administration's claims that the economy is improving. Could this skepticism tip the scales in Trump's favor even more? Despite their disdain for Trump, many voters believe he is the candidate most capable of forcing the necessary changes. The Democrats only have themselves to blame for this predicament. But there's even more. Trump and Biden are neck and neck among 18 to 29-year-olds and Hispanic voters. Remember, Biden won more than 60% of this demographic in 2020. But according to the Times poll, Trump now garners 20% of black voters' support, the highest for any Republican presidential candidate since the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This shift is opening up the electoral map giving Trump an edge in more diverse states like Arizona, Georgia, and Nevada. On the flip side, Biden has retained much of his support among older and white voters. Figures, this demographic seems to desire less fundamental change, making Biden more competitive in swing states with a higher proportion of white voters, such as Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Abortion remains a hot-button issue because the Democrats want to make it that way. 64% of voters in battleground states believe it should always or mainly be legal, including 44% of Trump voters. Nearly 20% of voters blame Biden more than Trump for the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade in 2022. Now, that is mind-boggling. Voters favor Biden over Trump on abortion by 11 points, 49 to 38%. Meanwhile, Trump is gaining traction with those who believe the political and economic structures need a complete overhaul. Even 2% of very liberal voters who supported Biden in 2020 are now leaning towards Trump. How's that for a twist? That's what happens when your wallet gets thin and your kids still want to eat. Additionally, about 13% of voters who supported Biden in 2020 but won't vote for him again, cite his foreign policy on the Gaza conflict as their top issue. Around 17% of these voters express sympathy for Israel. This dissatisfaction is significant. So if this trend keeps up and Trump keeps winning support from people who didn't support him up until now, I see him potentially taking those three states. Even if he takes just one, it's over for Biden. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button and get ready because the culture war rages on. We're the rebels, the ones who fight For justice, for love, for what's right With our hearts beating loud and strong We'll break the rules, we'll ride